All right, folks, as always, there's there's entertainment. You can see it looks like there are aliens sprouting out of Miss Katie's back. Uh, that, of course, is black men helping. You can see Petunia off to the back. She's still in the back lid. But what game do we have here, Miss Katie? Savage Wilderness. And who's this from? Who's our friends in Colorado? Oh, shoot. David. Oh, David Heath. With, with nice young sons. Yes. Very nice folks. Uh, he lives in Windsor. No, he lives in Pueblo. It's Dave Newport who lives in Windsor. Sorry, guys. I'm getting my Davids mixed up. Uh, David has always been very good to us over the years, yes. and we hope to soon see them. Yes, and, of do. course, there is the magic rice cooker. See? Yay. Quiznart. Yep. There, so... We get both gamers' favorite things. Gamer, well, three things. Gamers, Miss Katie, and food. Food. But, we're, but am I excited to play this one? Yes, you like the French and Indian War. How many of these forts in this game have you been to? Oh, shoot. You've been to Fort Frederick. Been to Fort Ligonier. Fort Ligonier. And Fort Necessity, which is not in this game, but it is in Bill's first game. So... We've done a lot of Fort and Indian, French and Indian War stuff, haven't we? Yes. So what do we say to everybody? Nothing. And thank you. Thank you. All right, folks, here's our new media star, Jasper, because, of course, and so he actually picked his head up, because, of course, we lost Sheridan last Friday. It was a lovely passing for him, and... You know, things are as good as possible. And, of course, now we see Black Man wanting to play with Jasper. So, things are as good as it gets around here in the House of Cats. So, well, as you can see here, they are as good as they get. So, we'll talk to you in a bit here about the game. All right, folks, new game. Thank, thank you, David Heath, out at Lock and Load from Pueblo, Colorado. Savage Wilderness, the French and Indian War, i.e. another Bill Molyneux special. We did not play this game before, and we, we can't even pretend to, to have helped Bill with it. So, what makes this game better? Well, if you look at the cover, it would almost seem to indicate it's centered around Pennsylvania, but is it? Folks, game counters. Much like before, we have the French, obviously here, turn specials, British, but surprisingly they're broken up again that way. So in terms of raw units, it looks pretty close, and they remind you much of the ones in the previous game. So then let's take a, a greater look at these. Here in a moment. Folks, I have to amend what I said earlier. There are only eight scenarios here that it is not double-sided. Mercer's Massacre. Well, you can see that what happens here, they have to scoot off the map in bad country, and the militia tend not to move as well as the Indians through the countryside. So this one should be fun to play to see if I can do better with the militia than happened historically. Here is, of course, Fort Ligonier. Well, that looks like Fort Ligonier to me. And, of course, uh, we know this terrain personally. So the stream down below, uh, the fortifications are rounded on the outside. We got a great picture of Miss Katie with those. So, looks very much that way. And I believe this was designed by one of the park rangers. And then we've got Fort Frederick, which I think was also designed by one of the park rangers. And yes, those are the buildings that are there. And it's interesting that I wonder where the river actually was at this point, because I don't recall it being that close when we were there any water. And that was one of the, the things we talked about with this battle. So is that, is this historically accurate? I think this is very historically accurate because it makes sense but how much did the river move since then that's an interesting question so 
As always, we thank Lock and Load for a new game. Thanks, folks. Bye. Some additional stuff. Here is from the book on Fort Ligonier, and I want you to look closely. There's the actual fort, the outside palisades, and of course, the, artil the artillery park, the wagon park, and the museum. <laughs> but it gives you a sense of the actual fort. And of course, we'll show you the historic drawing at this time. There's, there's the actual, and of course, the little booklet. Very good little book. We got it there. And of course, the second one, which is a very good book for you to read here. Let me put up where it's not glaring. The War for Empire in Western Pennsylvania. Yes, it's thin, folks. Think of it as a Osprey book type book for the French and Indian War. Worth your while. Doesn't have Mercer's Massacre in it. Could have a better index. But worthwhile read and will give you a better uh, sense for this game and Bill's other game. Thanks.